Algonquin lifestyle. The Algonquins, a proud tribe of Western Quebec, call themselves Anisiapec. Their long, unpleasant history with the Iroquois and their alliance with the French makes it my pleasure to introduce Algonquin lifestyle. Throughout their entire known history, the Algonquin have had conflicts with the Iroquois. In order to cope with their enemies, the Algonquin would marry the neighboring tribes to create ties. However, these relationships were turbulent and usually temporary. Their small nation of influence was apparently divided into two sectors, the north and the south. Typically, the southern communities were largely agricultural. The southern societies usually cultivated corn, beans, squash, as well as hunting, fishing, and gathering. One way that they hunted moose was they would get dogs and spears and run down the moose until it could no longer run. They would then kill the helpless moose. Another difference was that most northern tribes lived in birch bark wigwams, whereas southern farmers tended to live in longhouses. Each of these longhouses contained several related families. These societies were, for the most part, egalitarian, meaning that leadership came from elders and the family leaders. Some of the stories that were shared among these families included the Wendigo, the story of a devilish, cannibalistic giant. They would enjoy certain holidays and milestones like puberty, seasons, birth, and death. In order to traverse these hilly, treacherous lands, the Algonquin invented snowshoes and toboggans for winter, while they used canoes and such during the summer. When they were first discovered by the French in 1603, they allied against the Iroquois to help destroy a mutual enemy. More recently, in the modern era, the Algonquin have signed a contract to help preserve their culture along with the Cree. Because we've got rocks and trees and trees and rocks and 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 water. All right, everyone! We've got rocks and trees and trees and rocks and rocks and trees and trees and rocks and